The missing piece to most home workouts is exercises that help develop your back. The isometric towel row is a very good exercise to help with that problem. It's very easy, you don't need anything other than a towel, or more specifically, a variety of towels of different lengths. Quite simply, you're going to hinge at the hip. Like with any hip hinge, it's important that you maintain a nice neutral spine. You're going to push your hips as far back as you can until you feel a very strong stretch in the hamstrings. I'm still trying to maintain a neutral spine in this position. All you're going to do is stand on the center of the towel, either with one foot or two feet. And from here, whilst maintaining good posture, you are going to pull as hard as you can for the prescribed amount of time. Now this towel is quite short and that's not a problem because it just allows me to develop isometric contractions at a longer range of motion. An alternative would be to use a longer towel. Now this is not necessarily a better variation, it's just a different variation. So if you have a number of towels of varying lengths in your house, then do mix it up a little bit. Now I'm currently in the gym, I'm not at home, so I don't have access to all of the towels. So instead I'm going to use this to demonstrate what you could do with a longer towel. It's the same movement, I'm gonna hinge at the hip, I'm gonna stand on in this case with one foot, I'm gonna grab hold of the towel, maintain a neutral spine, and I'm gonna pull as hard as I can for the prescribed amount of time. Now it's very important with this exercise that you try and initiate the movement, not with your arms, but with your shoulder blades. What we don't want to do is allow for any anterior translation of the shoulder. That's not gonna help to develop back strength. It's gonna help develop bad posture, bad habits. We don't want that. It could put pressure on the biceps tendon, the anterior shoulder. So make sure that as you pull and hold that position for this prescribed amount of time, you're squeezing your shoulder blades. Initiate the movement with a pull back of your shoulder blades. You don't necessarily want to be feeling this in your biceps. You might, but the majority of the tension, the contraction, the burning sensation should occur in between the middle of your shoulder blades.